Hello lovely sewing friends, it's Cara here and I am so, so mad. How are you all today? I hope you're keeping well. Oh, it's meant to have been a short week last week, but I don't know about you, but it felt like a really long one. Oh, I'm so glad the weekend is finally here. Um, I have had the loveliest week and I just want to take a few moments really to talk to you about that if that's okay. Um, if you were kind enough to watch my video last week, I can I just put in brackets there, I apologise that it was so quiet, I don't know what happened here, it's bound to be something that I did, so can I only apologise for that. Thank you to those that um, mentioned my um, my sound issue, um, I apologise um, and hopefully it's um, not a common occurrence, so sorry about that. However, I do want to continue my pledge of um, uh, the continuing for so so what's in store for 24 and my premise for this year is friendship um it's happiness it's sewing of course um and it's also about the collaborations and um that i do with companies and sewing friends alike so i'm really excited to share with you the progress of um what i got to up to last week and i can honestly tell you that in one week i've probably extended my circle of friendship within the sewing community um you know hugely and i am so grateful to you if you reached out to me last week um and uh, said you'd like to do something um, and I do have some genuinely lovely events coming up so let me I can take you through those now so there are a number of people that reached out to me last week and can I just give you all a top tip so if you're sitting there now thinking oh a I didn't watch the video please go and watch it I would appreciate that but B if you're thinking oh I didn't I didn't reach out and I wish I had I've probably missed my chance no 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 there's no such thing of missing a chance ever um, this is a nice problem to have if I've, I've got lots of new sewing friends and you would love to do something with me in the future and don't forget that doing something could be anything it could be literally messaging it could be a collaboration it could let's could be let's um, meet up at a sewing social it could just be let's bump into each other or it could just be that it's great to know you're there so um, yeah, no pressure and these lovely people that reached out to me last week there was a very common theme and the common theme was Cara you've given me the confidence to reach out to you and say hi could we do something together and the answer is yes um, but please don't put any pressure on yourself I certainly don't want to put any pressure on myself um, it seems like a, a lovely long list of people but as I said before that's an amazing lovely problem to have um, and I will um, extend this over over the year, over the next few years, um, but it's just about you knowing about those people, me knowing about those people, and us having a shared common interest. So no pressure. But please, if you do want to get in touch with me, but, um, contact me via Messenger on Instagram, and I'll leave my details here. It's just so so mad, and then just be just below there of my title would be a button to message me. So send me a message, and that would be great. Um, yeah, no pressure, anybody. It's just. It's just an increase of friendship I'm looking for. Um, and if you want to do some collaboration with me, that's great too. If you can hear some coughing in the background, sadly my husband has swallowed some toast. It's gone down the wrong way and it's really got to him. So he's coughing like a good one at the moment. So <laughs> apologies if you can hear that. So, um, oh, just a lovely week, genuinely. Um, so Alison, um, thank you for reaching out to me last week. Now I'm sure you're all aware of Alison. She has an amazing YouTube channel called So Like Dotty. Um, now if you've watched Alison, Alison's most recent um, uh, video, please you know, do head over to her channel. Just not, just not yet, but you know maybe today, some stage. Um, she has got massive plans for January, so we're going to be working together sometime, maybe February and March, which is fantastic. So thank you for that, Alison. It's just lovely to have you um uh, you know have a, a messaging system going with you that's amazing um um sam um from so uh, i can never get your title right sorry so let's sparkle um with sam um she also has a lo lovely youtube channel and she kindly reached out and said a similar thing let's let's try and do something together at some stage so sam oh, thank you very much i really appreciate that don't worry, I'm going to leave all the links um, in the um, details um, below um, to everything that, that I'm talking about today. I've got various notes around me because I was so excited I wrote everything down and then now I'm worried that I haven't written everything down in in the way that I want to. Um, so I, I hope I don't do anyone dis disservice, but I will genuinely leave everyone's details in the links below. 
Michelle, I love your channel title. It's she's the menopausal sewer um, um, over on YouTube. Uh, um, brand you know, pretty new channel. So again, another lovely lady to watch. And Michelle has very kindly been asking me um, about various projects. Um, <laughs> sadly, I keep uh, unfortunately the things that I have recently done or am about to do. But don't worry, Michelle. We will find a project and we will work together. Um, work is a loose term. We will get to know each other a little more. Um, very very soon so don't worry it's going to be so exciting um, and also um, uh, uh, Michelle was kind enough to remind me about Karen from Lo So Little Time she does have a sewing social in Leicester um, so I make sure I leave a link to Karen's um, sewing social um, so please uh, that would be that would be a dream for me. Um, she's based in Leicester and I'd absolutely love to go to Karen's Sewing Social um, and I intend to make that happen at some stage. Um, let's just see how it all coordinates. But I also want to go to the Dressmakers Ball um, which is in Leicester um, uh, once a year and maybe we'll go to that, maybe we'll meet up at some stage there but it's so exciting. So if I continue on the theme of um, lovely people that have reached out to me, apologies that I keep looking this way. Christine from Gemini Stitcher, again, has got a YouTube channel, um, so please do um, check that out. I was watching her, um, so I was watching this morning, uh, I think it was her fabric haul or Christmas plans, but she's also done a sort of a wins and fails from last year, so please do head over to her channel too. And it was Christine, so Christine is also a Maison Faux fan um, and she is keen on us doing the dandelion jacket together at some stage. I do have that pattern and I have some fabric too. But as you know, um, and we'll see in a moment, I've made quite a lot of coats recently. Um, so um, I'm probably going to put um, the dandelion jacket. I really, really want to make it, but there's only so many jackets you can have on rotation at one time, I think. So um, as Christine and I said, we'll do that um, up to March or well, before March rather, um, or after September sometimes. So let's keep that going. Um, keep that th train of thought going or something else. But I have to say a massive thank you to Christine because she introduced me to the Southern Socials, which I will come to on in a, a little little while and that has been a game changer for me this week. Um, Julie uh, from Julie Sews Her Own Clothes, uh, she also reached out to me and all, again she has a lovely YouTube channel and again I will leave the comments in, um, in the link with, below. So um, Julie, um, actually what was lovely about Julie is one of her challenge, um, challenges to herself this year is to make um, jeans and um, our uh, we were talking about, I was messaging each other about making the dawn jeans potentially, um, but actually, coincidentally, I then messaged her on one of her videos to say that um, I've just, I, I, I want to make the aisle jeans from Chalk and Notch. I've been talking about them all year, um, and I, I did actually buy the pattern. And then Julie messaged me back, and it turns out we bought the aisle jeans from Chalk and Notch on the same day. I mean, that's got to be fate, hasn't it? Um, and the aisle jeans are a really good um, beginner um, uh, beginner jeans making pattern because they've got six darts in, two at the front and four at the back. Um, and so that makes fitting really, really good. I hope to find the stock photo or we'll put the fo stock photo for you in here. Um, I hope the reflection on my glasses isn't annoying you too much as well. I'm tilting my head down a little bit. The sun has decided to come out and it's it's um, glaring at me here. Um, so Julie, I'm really looking forward to that and I've got some beautiful fabric coming from beyond the pink door. I've had notification to say that it's been dispatched so hopefully that will be with me at some stage this week um, and uh, that's a, a green stretch denim and I'm really looking forward to, um, to, to making that. Um, a few more names here. Um, the lovely Rachel from French Seams. Hi, Rachel. Um, this is a great example of the community expanding and getting to know each other. Uh, Rachel messaged me um, just before Christmas and said, "How did I not know about your YouTube channel?" Um, uh, that was such a such a humble comment, and I loved it. Um, uh, and that's the point, isn't it? You don't know about anyone until you know about them. So don't be shy. Um, please, I just want to encourage everybody to let each other know about um, what's great out there and people who, who are um, you know sharing their love of sewing that's all I'm intending by all of this 
Um, you know that Angela and I have been messaging a lot recently, um, to the wonderful Devon Thread Tales, um, and uh, she very kindly said, oh my goodness, I would absolutely love to work with you at some stage. Um, and uh, so, yeah, Angela, a plan will be coming at some stage. Um, I have no doubt of that. But some of the other things that have happened this week, um, I, I, I know I mentioned last week that I wanted to go and see Tamlin um, at Sewn on the Tyne. And Tamlin, I just think it's a genius community that you've created up there. I, I'm, oh, just it's wonderful, and what a lovely problem to have, um, because um, despite sort of messaging to and forth with the lovely Katie from What Katie Sews, because she was keen to do a sort of Southern Girls road trip to um, to uh, up to to Newcastle, we just can't find a date um, uh, that we were both free. And then beautifully, it turns out that So Toon is actually um, already full for the year pretty much um, and they've got waiting lists for um, the dates that we would be available so Tamlin that was so you've been so patient with me I've been messaging back and forth um, this week and I think it's a lovely problem to have that you literally don't have space at your socials for me to come <laughs> however I am on the waiting list and if at short notice I can go um, even if it's a solo trip then I hope that I can make that happen if not, I need to get my name down for next year, please, Tamlin. That would be really lovely. <laughs> um, I spoke briefly there about the Southern Social, and this is run, um, I was co-hosted, um, but the key organiser here is Sam from Sequin Girl Creates, uh, Sequin Girly Creates, sorry. I've, she's uh, on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, I will put a name here. Sam, you are amazing. Um, I've only known of Sam for the very shortest amount of time, um, but she is super organised. And let me tell you, can I indulge you for a few minutes, please, on the Southern Social? And I hope the ladies that did, um, are already attending it, um, it's. I hope they don't mind me talking about it because it was just amazing. I mean, obviously they won't mind me talking about it, but if you all suddenly join, it might, <laughs> might, you know, might become a really big thing um, and hard, difficult to manage, which is not what I intend. But I want to spread the word of just how wonderful the sewing social was and it's a virtual sewing social. So I signed up on Friday for the social that was Friday night. Um, it's very similar concept to the Beyond the Pink Door um, Zoom calls that um, I used to be part of whereby anyone that's available signs up via Google Meet and it's essentially a Zoom call so you've got lots of pictures of people that are available to talk on that day. And you don't have to talk, by the way, and you don't even have to have your camera on. So there were probably about 10 or 12, maybe more than that, people on the call. Um, and at least seven of them didn't have their cameras visual, uh, visual on. And not everybody contrib contributed by talking. So honestly, um, if you're thinking, oh my word, I'm not sure I'll be able to do that, then you don't have to. You're just, just there and you're just part of listening to everybody talking. And there was discussions about overlockers, cover stitches, where to buy great fabric, social meetups that we might want to do. Um, and they were just all absolutely delicious. I'd love to go to Neil's in Milton Keynes and like Sam was going, well, you have to come through Slough, so pop in for a cup of tea. And then another lady was like, well, I'm only 25 minutes from there. You can come and have a cup of tea with me, etc., etc." And that was, ah, it just made my heart burst with, um, with friendship. So thank you, ladies. Um, and by the way, there were people there um, from America. There's a lovely lady from America on there. Um, so wherever you are in the world, this is a great opportunity to get involved. Um, and I remember in one of my comments last week um, that lovely lady from New Zealand said, oh, unfortunately, there's nothing, nothing like that near where we are. How lovely would that be? And then there was a response to that message to say, oh, I'm in New Zealand too. Where are you? Oh, I'd love to see how that worked out. How lovely would that be if there was a connection made as a result of that comment? Just brilliant. But the, um, so from my knowledge of Southern Socials, um, it's an Instagram um, group. Uh, so I'll put the details on the screen here now. Um, now. There's more to this than meets the eye because Sam actually, um, she not only does the uh, sort of hosting in conjunction with Christine is what I was going to say. Christine, uh, the Gemini Stitcher, and Sam um, host that. Um, but uh, Secret Girl Creates also does a podcast, so please head over to her page to see more details of that. Um, and she does that podcast with So What If I Sew, I think. I hope I've got that right. I think it's Jess. Um, so that was all super exciting. 
And then uh, also um, Ju uh, Judy from Running So and So also got in touch with me. And Judy, you're just so lovely because um, you literally has invited me to her social that she's going to be doing in spring. Um, I think more plans of that to come. But also she offered, literally offered for me to stay with her. Um, Judy, you're just lovely. Um, I was very honoured to meet with you last year and we've been messaging to and forth um, from that time. Um, just wah, virtual hugs to you all because it's just beautiful um the offers of friendship and kindness that have been coming my way this week um and i, I can't wait to meet some of you um or all of you if i could that is really what i want to do um and i am going to get the chance to meet a lot of people as i'm going to the knitting and stitching show on saturday the 23rd of march um and uh, i already know there's a lot of people going to that um which is going to be super exciting um and I, um, i'm going to be going out for dinner with some of the girls afterwards um and what was really lovely um that culminated my week of friendship if you like that yesterday was an assisted sewing day at Little Miss So-and-So. Um, I assist some lovely ladies in their sewing um, and really I'm just there to be a coach, a guide um, and encourage. Um, that's really the part I play in their amazing sewing. Um, it's people from all sorts of experiences and backgrounds and I just love it. And I mentioned to Denise, um, um, who's a sewing trolley dolly on Instagram, I mentioned, because she actually goes to these things and we uh, went to the knitting and stitching show last last year together. Um, and I uh, said, oh, have you got your ticket? And then the other ladies were like, what's this for? And I was like, oh my goodness, yes. Let's, let you know, if you can come to the knitting and stitching show, let's make that happen. So they're all coming. That's just amazing i hope you can tell from my enthusiasm just what it means to me um and i want to encourage you all to reach out in a similar way to me um and don't don't be shy i lit literally this week i've reached out to some people just like some people have to, done to me i've reached out to some very influential people um in the sewing world this week from all around the world actually um and i've been quite nervous about doing that but the responses i've had have just been beautiful, genuine um, offers of support and advice um, and so thank you to, to you if you were one of the people that responded to my messages this week as I increase my own um, circle of sewing friends. Beautiful. So what else have I been up to this week? Um, I just need to um, uh, pop in a quick video here because I want to say to, um, thank you to the sponsor of this week's video and that is the Serious Lights but I wanted to show you this uh, this month of what the Serious Lights have done for me so let's just pop that in just quickly now. Hi everyone I thought I'd just show you some live time footage um, of my sewing light if you like so this is my sewing room um, it's a Sunday um, uh, it's about 11 o'clock um, so yeah it's it's well the camera is adjusting for that slightly but it's actually quite dark I haven't actually got my um, normal light on so let me just pop that on and you'll see there you go that makes a little bit of difference but the reason I wanted to show you this is because I wanted to show show you the difference that my serious readers uh, my serious lights make to my sewing space Look at that, it's just completely different. Um, and I know you could say, well, it's a light, it's close. Actually, it's not that close. So this is my sewing machine all the way over here. And then that is the light, and I'm not gonna blind you obviously with it, but there you go, that is the light just there. So it's not that close, but I just wanted to show you just how much difference that has made. And in all honesty, without that amazing light um, on a dreary Sunday like this, I'm not sure I'd be sitting in here sewing. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, and then I can actually change the beam here. See how that makes it smaller. I'm just leaning right over there and sort of focuses it in. And obviously I could I could move it in. Just doing this one handed. I can move it in to make it even closer if I wanted to. Sorry, I'm doing that one handed and holding the phone at the same time, but Amazing, just a phenomenal amount of difference to my sewing space and I will be forever grateful that I have them in my sewing room. Back to the video. Thank you for supporting my, um, my sponsorship 
clips there. They mean the world to me. So, sewing this week, what have I been up to? Oh, very exciting. So, on this sewing social that I was on on Friday, we were actually sewing, um, and everybody was actually sewing, which was lovely, or pretty much everyone was sewing. Um, and it, what that meant was that sometimes people were talking, which is great, and then other times they were actually... Um, just busy sewing and no one was saying anything but it wasn't an awkward silence it was a, a silence of concentration and friendship and yeah let's not worry about it it was great just lovely and um so where have i put it i was actually sewing two seconds people wait a minute hold the line caller in case you're wondering what i'm wearing today i'm actually wearing um oh, one, of, one of my new favorite finds and this is the um Stasi address um, from So Liberated in the fabric that I bought uh, last year in the Netherlands. Um, love this dress and I do look a bit um, made up today. I've actually got makeup on. See my eyes there, not with the reflection, sorry about that. Um, because I'm actually um, I'm actually going to a party today and it's my party. Um, my lovely sister-in-law is holding me a 50th birthday party later today. Um, uh, just family and a few friends. Um, uh, again, that really, I, don't, I think I might have mentioned it in one of my Christmas vlogs, really touched me when she reached out to me and said, Cara, we would love to host you and your your twin brother um, at a 50th birthday party um, to, uh, particularly for um, my uh, what's the word um, oh my god my dad's side of the family um, not my married side of the family I can't remember what that's called maiden maiden name of side of the family sorry my head fallen off but um, whilst we were whilst we were sewing on Friday I was busy making the unlined no i'm gonna get the right yeah unlined raw edged coat from the makers atelier and this was um a free gift uh free pattern sorry given out by the fold line um in their 12 days of christmas um and here it is i have finished it so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to flip the camera to portrait and i can take you through that in a little bit more detail now, can I start by saying the clash a lot that's going on here? Obviously, I wouldn't wear this jacket with um, this dress. Oh my word, what is going on there? Um, but I did want to share this with you um, because it's a curious make. Um, it is a very simple construction. It is unlined, um, as it literally says in the title. But it's unlined to the extent that um, it would have you put the pockets on, on raw edges. That was my interpretation of that. Um, and you also have no, uh, you also would have a single collar. So you would literally sew the collar right side to wrong side and then flip it out. Now, my choice of fabric, although beautiful in terms of colours, is not the right fabric for this pattern, is what I've discovered. So, and that is because it being unlined, this is a raw edge here which is, in itself is actually fine. And the more I put it on, maybe the more I'm comfortable with it. Now, I haven't had a chance to iron it, which is why this is sort of curling up a little bit. Um, but I actually ended up, um, I actually ended up doing a collar in the standard way to give this a little bit more structure because this, as, as you can see here, this fabric wouldn't be right for it. So if you want to make this pattern, and it is incredibly quick, I literally was on a conference, uh, you know, on the, on the social, chatting away with people, um, and I'm, I made this whole coat in that time. I really like it. Um, it's sort of a slightly cocoon shape um, there. Um, I hope you can see it okay, and um, I, I'm not going to have a chance to take any pictures to show this to you, but maybe I'll put some pictures in next week so you get slightly, just remind my, my microphone, slightly less of a clash. I don't think I'm going to put buttons or anything on this. I think I'm just going to leave it, um, and I'm still umming and ahhing as to whether I'm going to go back in and create some sort of facing. Um, it's not offensive, um, the inside, but it is on view. Uh, but I think it will be better once I've um, ironed it. Um, do you know, it's funny really, when I was making it, it actually looks quite nice without the collar, just a round neck. Um, so maybe that's something to consider for the future. I sized down two sizes from what my size would be putting. So I think my size put it me in the 16, but I actually made a size 
12 in this, I believe. I can't see it for looking right now where I've put it, but I'm pretty sure. And you can see it's quite it's quite roomy, but not too much. Um, I was thinking about Sarah, Sarah Styles because she loves making the Lutz. So Sarah, this could really be, a, um, <laughs> be an alternative for you. It is super quick to make, uh, especially because you don't um, need to light and you don't need to finish the edges or anything. The beautiful green wall that I've um, earmarked for the dandelion definitely could be a contender in this. I've also got some beautiful pink wool there as well, so that might work. So let me change the camera back to the other angle and take this clashiness off and carry on. <laughs> I really do have a very small sewing room, so it's quite difficult for me to sort of get um, sort of uh, portrait views and things. But I am very, very lucky to have a dedicated to space to sew. The other thing that I've been um, uh, tweaking this week is a better description is the um, Nina Lee Southbank dress that I made last week. Um, so let me pop a photo in here. Now in this picture you'll see that the neckband is the standard length of neckband and this one is considerably shorter. So after I'd made the dress, um, I wore it um, for a relatively short amount of time. It's certainly a central, um, a, a, what's it, a, a personal central heating situation because this, this dress is actually wool um, and actually it's super warm. Um, and then what I decided to do, because it's it's not itchy as such, but it's not not itchy, if that makes sense. Great English there, Cara. So I took the neckband off and I lined the inside of it. So literally cut the, the um, neckband in half, rejoined them to, to make them whole again. Um, and then sewed it back on. Why is it so much smaller then, Cara? Well, Cara, when you sewed it back on, you managed to sew it on with the inside on the outside. By this stage, the fabric was thinking, nah, we're not playing ball anymore. <laughs> so then I had to, and I overlocked it, just overlocked it, of course, that's how I got it attached. Then I had to cut it off again, and now it's getting smaller and smaller. And now I notice that I've missed a bit. It's quality. It's a quality show. Um, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. So I've got to go back in and do that. But I am actually really pleased with it and that helps enormously. Um, it isn't overly itchy on the arms and things, but I've got, got to be honest, I haven't reached for it yet. Um, and that's frustrating. I might actually make it into um, more of a jumper. Um, isn't it annoying when you make something and you have this vision and then you put it on and you think, I just can't see me reaching for that. The other problem I've got with the coat that I, the coat again that I just showed you, is also that it is, um, it's also quite itchy. But luckily, because it's a coat again, I'm probably likely to wear that more in uh, with long sleeves and things. So I think that's going to be okay. But the neck, back, the neck is, again, quite itchy. And there's only so many times I want to wear a, a, a roll neck. So who knows? What else have I got to tell you about? Um, oh. I have been ordering some fabric. <laughs> so I mentioned about the um, the fabric from Beyond the Pink Door. So that will be here next um, next week sometime. I've got a massive bag down there, which I've um, bagged some. Sorry, my hair's doing its own thing. I bagged some bargains from Little Miss So and So. So um, Little Miss So and So. Um, I've got some big changes ahead just around the corner. But at the moment, they are running a um, massive sale. So please do head over there um, and check out what Nicola has got left in the sale, some absolute bargains there. Um, so I snapped some things up yesterday, which is very exciting. Um, and then I bought some fabric from Sew so Over It, actually. Um, they are also having a sale, um, and I couldn't resist a piece of fabric, so I will share that with you next week. Um, told you about the aisle jeans that I've bought. I also got a free pattern from Atelier Jupe because I did um, a survey. So I've got the Frankie trousers, which is quite exciting. Andrea made some of those last year and they're beautiful. So maybe that will be added to my plans. So yeah, lots lots of things going on. So I hope you've enjoyed my update on friendship. Um, please, um, just I encourage you, uh, now is the time. Message the person that you would like to hear from um, or get involved with, whoever they are in the world, um, and let's um, increase our knowledge of, um, and awareness of people in the sewing community. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below if there's someone you think I should be following on YouTube, um, and therefore I encourage you to read the comments so that you can see what other, so other people think. That'd be great. Whilst you're there, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This community 
um, it's got plenty of space in it and it can grow and grow and grow and that's what I'm after please um, just because I love to know you're there so have a great week everybody and I look forward to coming back to you next week take care Thank you.